Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many newcomers to Google Cloud Platform encounter. Our viewer is curious about why the Google Translate API doesn't accept an API key in the JSON request body. Let's dive into this intriguing topic and uncover the details together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's address the question of why the Google Translate API does not accept the API key in the JSON request body. First, it's important to understand how the API is designed for authentication. When you pass the API key as a query parameter, like this example, it works perfectly. The API recognizes the key and processes your request. However, when you try to include the API key in the JSON request body, the API does not recognize it. This is because the Google Translate API is designed to expect the API key in the query string, not in the JSON payload. This design choice is likely made for consistency and security reasons. The API expects certain parameters in specific locations to streamline processing and enhance security. If security is a concern, consider using a service account for authentication. This method is more secure than using an API key in the query string. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. The Google Translate API requires the API key to be included in the URL, not in the JSON request body. You can append the key directly in the URL like this. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one. Blah, 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 blah.